Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some exciting additional information to share with you guys related to the status of the iOS 7.1.1 untethered jailbreak. Alright, so immediately starting off, I'm going to open up Safari and we're going to go over a few things. First, however, to preface, if you have yet to see my most recent episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors, as well as my previous jailbreak update video on the status of the iOS 7.1.1 untethered jailbreak being developed by Ionic, just be sure to watch those two videos prior to this one. I will have links to them down below in the more info, and those again will help you to further understand the situation as it stands currently. So switching over to an article here that I will have linked to down below in the more info. I just wanted to briefly mention something before moving on to today's information. So as I previously said days ago, Ionic tweeted out an image of his personal iPhone 5C jailbroken on iOS 7.1.1, stating that he successfully discovered a new method to jailbreak 7.1.1 fully untethered. And actually in a subsequent post, the hacker has undeniably made his presence known to those who are new to the jailbreak scene. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the hacker, Ionic is a well-known iOS security expert with a mixed reputation for stirring up unnecessary excitement amongst the jailbreak community some years ago. However, the hackers also made important contributions to various utilities along the way. Now, suggesting that the iOS 7.1.1 jailbreak is a quote, byproduct of his trainings, Ionic's rudimentary utility may eventually jailbreak all iDevices on 7.1.1. Now that's important to understand, even though he's only announced that he's jailbroken his iPhone 5C on iOS 7.1.1, if a utility is released in the future, it should in theory be able to support all iDevices. However, taking on a task is an extraordinary feat, so can one primary hacker jailbreak 7.1.1 alone? Now due to the sheer number of iOS device models, models and their variations, divided by both cellular capabilities and CDMA versus GSM technologies currently available, a number of now well-known hackers have historically created jailbreak utilities together as a dev team. And the most prominent of said teams that remains active to date is a group of four hackers that go by the handle of the evaders. Now as previously said, Ionic has jailbroken one device that we know of on iOS 7.1.1, the iPhone 5C. Now again, while the same exploits should, in theory, jailbreak most of the remaining devices currently supported by iOS 7, it's impossible to be certain without proper testing. So again, if Ionic decides to go ahead with this jailbreak and release it, then he will need to have a proper testing period. Especially considering that between all iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch models, there are a total of 44 different devices that can update to iOS 7.1.1. Now with that being said, out of the way and understood, I'm going to move on to today's new and exciting information. So today, the hacker Ionic has taken matters a step further by posting additional jailbreak proof. Now, like I said, when going over the last article, allegedly spawning as a byproduct of Ionic's various exploitation training seminars, the jailbreak 7.1.1 utility he has in the works fully functions untethered on the iPhone 5C. And as for the new information, Ionic tweeted out a brief video running through the customary proof of jailbreak steps to go that his iPhone 5C is indeed jailbroken on iOS 7.1.1 untethered. Now, in the seemingly cryptic and convoluted tweet, Ionic said the following when posting the link to his brief video. Quote, the story of the hashtag cyber elevator iOS 7.1.1 jailbreak is a story full of misconceptions and misinformation. Now, if anything, the key bit of information to be ascertained from the previously mentioned tweet is that Ionic's iOS 7.1.1 jailbreak tool will Will reportedly be dubbed Cyber Elevator. Now, while the hacker may have intended that name to be reserved as a placeholder until his utility is actually ready, it's improbable that'll change it now, seeing as the vast majority of his followers, as well as blogs, picked up the idea and ran with it. Now, while I'm not going to directly play and include clips from the video for obvious reasons, I'm going to highlight the steps taken to confirm his jailbreak's authenticity. Now, in the video, Ionic first proves that the iPhone 5C in question is indeed on iOS 7.1.1 by navigating to the version listing inside the settings app, preceded by launching Cydia and quickly navigating through various tabs. Continuing to power off the iPhone 5C, 
to highlight that it is indeed untethered and can reboot without the assistance of a computer, Ionic then goes on to relaunch Cydia, followed by iFile, which is a file system app that's exclusive to jailbroken devices. That's it. That's the extent of the video on Cyber Elevator that's intended to prove its legitimacy. And after having confirmed the jailbreak, Ionic went on to vaguely suggest that those in need of a jailbreak for 7.1.1 should contribute to the somewhat unethical bounty that I actually detailed in a previous episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors, which is entirely separate from Ionic's jailbreak. Now publicly sharing his disdain for Sarik, the creator of Cydia, Ionic is listing Sarik and quote, people with own financial interests to boycott it. The evaders as the reason that quote new public jailbreaks are coming out slowly. However, that doesn't mean that financially contributing will automatically guarantee a release as details on that front as well as the legitimacy of the bounty campaign are still in question. Now finally, in a concise tweet, Ionic stated that he's quote still looking forward to the next fun day on Sunday. And in the past, typically when jailbreak developers would refer to a specific Sunday as a fun day, that's when they'd release a jailbreak utility or at least continue to work on it. So with all of that said, it looks like things are shaping up quite nicely for the next untethered jailbreak utility. Of course, I will keep you guys completely posted on the status along the way, including various update videos and the first untethered jailbreak tutorial once a utility is made publicly available. So just be sure to stay tuned to my channel for complete coverage. And don't set your hopes too high, remember that as of now, now things could still go the other way and Ionic could decide to wait until Apple releases iOS 8 before pushing out his untethered jailbreak. But it doesn't seem like it at this point, given the amount of effort he's putting into developing it for iOS 7.1.1. But again, I will have full details either way on my channel. And if you guys are interested in earning paid iOS apps from Apple's App Store for free legally while simultaneously supporting the developers of said applications, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or get free app life.com inside of mobile safari once downloaded and sell sponsored apps for points and then redeem said points for various prizes again such as paid application codes on apple's app store gift cards and electronic devices and finally if you guys want to be notified when i release new videos such as this one and a tutorial once a utility is finally made available just be sure to like me on facebook and follow me on twitter and until next time this is icu signing out